In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem calculating a molar heat of reaction from formation enthalpies. In this problem, you're given a balanced chemical equation and you're asked to calculate the delta H for the reaction using the delta H of formation values for all of the reactants and all of the products. The delta H of formation values can be found in the Alex data tab. This is this little circle over on the right hand side that uh, looks like a little bar graph. If you click on this data tab, there's a lot of different um, tables that you could access here. The table that you're looking for right now is at the very bottom of this. It's called thermodynamic properties of pure substances. So there I've moved it up at the very top. Thermodynamic properties of pure substances. This is the data that we're looking for. I'm gonna hit the little plus sign to expand it. And this table has all of the delta H of formation values for all of the different substances that we'll need. Notice that the delta H of formation values are in the very first, well, actually it's the second column in this data table, and it's in units of kilojoules per mole. So what we need to do is go through this data table and find the delta H of formation value for all of the reactants and products in this equation, Fe2O3, CO, Fe, and CO2. As we're finding these values, not only do we want to make sure that we have the chemical formula right, but we also want to make sure that we're paying attention to the state because that matters. Uh, let me find an example here. So right now at the very bottom, I'll actually move it to the very top. Um, at the very top of the data, we have HCN liquid and HCN gas, and you can see that they have different delta H values. So when you're copying these delta H values, just make sure that you're paying attention to the states um, and also the formulas as well. So I have got all of the delta H values copied from Alex table. This is the delta H values right there. Once you get all the delta H values um, tabulated for yourself, all the ones that are necessary. We're going to plug this into the equation products minus reactants. Products minus reactants is the equation that we use to calculate delta H using formation enthalpies. So what we're going to do is take each one of the products one at a time. The first one that we have here is iron and we are going to multiply the stoichiometric coefficient of that substance times its delta H value, which is just zero. So that's pretty easy for iron. And then our, our other product, we've got to get all of our products together, CO2, the stoichiometric coefficient of CO2 is three, and the delta H value of CO2 is negative 393.5. So that's all of our products together. And then from that, we will subtract our reactants. Our first reactant, Fe2O3, the coefficient is 1, and its delta H value is negative 824.2. And then our other reactant, CO, the coefficient is 3, and the delta H value is 110.5. And I left the units off of all of these, but all of them have the same unit, kilojoules per mole. So now we're just going to do the math on this. We've got to be really careful with the signs. 3 times negative 393.5 is negative 1180.5. So there's our product delta H all together. And then from that, I'm subtracting negative 824.2 plus 3 times negative 110.5. That's a negative 1155.7. Again, you know, we really want to make sure that we're paying attention to the signs here. And if I have done my math correctly, I'm getting a value of negative 24.8 kilojoules per mole. Alex wants us to round our answer to the nearest kilojoule, so that means my answer here is going to be a negative 25 kilojoules.